Hi, my name's Toby Simpson and I'm a 2022 Nuffield Farming Scholar. My topic is exploring catch and cover cropping opportunities in UK arable agriculture. I never realised how lucky I was growing up on a family farm until I left to study politics at the University of Leeds and subsequently spent four years in the army. I now live with my wife and children and farm in partnership with my parents on our Cambridgeshire arable farm. Dad has always focused on soil health and it is this shared passion that drew me towards applying for a Nuffield Farming Scholarship. In moving the farm to a no-till establishment system, I started experimenting with cover crops. I felt they should have a place in our system, but first I had to prove they were worth the cost. Cover crops are certainly in vogue, with public and private financial incentives and more ag companies selling seed mixtures, it can be easy to get lost in all the noise. We have had both positive and negative experiences in the few years we've been growing cover crops. As more farmers start to grow them, I felt there was a knowledge gap in the practical application of cover crops and in understanding what the benefits could be. I set out to explore what place cover cropping had in UK arable rotations the on-farm practicalities and best practices when adopting cover cropping, and the wider opportunities such as integrating livestock or public engagement. Therefore, I wanted to travel to UK-specific climate and soil types. My first trip took me to Scandinavia, where in Norway, Sweden and Denmark, I saw the challenges of a short growing season and how farmers were still able to grow good cover crops to protect the soil. I also saw the impact of government policy creating good and bad practices. In Germany, I visited seed breeders who specialised in cover crops. I saw the process of breeding different seed traits, why variety selection is so important and that we must never overlook the quality of seed. Many UK farmers kindly gave me their time. I met numerous innovating and pioneering farmers who are leading the way well ahead of government policy or industry research. In France, I saw farmers who understood the importance of cover crop termination and nutrient cycling. Equally, the role carbon and nitrogen cycles play in this process. In the USA and Canada, it was clear cover crops are part of a bigger system and that no-till and the presence of a living root could significantly build and improve soil function. Had one inch of rain last night? You had an inch of rain last night. Yeah. My key findings are as follows. Cover crops are the keystone to the biological, chemical and physical function of the soil. Growers need to understand the carbon and nitrogen ratios and cycles in the soil for successful outcomes. When growing a cover crop, think about the function, diversity and density of the cover crop. Having clear objectives will inform all three of these areas. Build resilience into a farming business by farming layered and not naked. Integrating livestock and enterprise stacking is much easier when you already have cover crops in the rotation. My Nuffield travels have changed the way I look at our soils and the way I think about our business. I'm optimistic about the future and hope to build resilience into our soils and our farm income, but change takes time. I have already used sheep grazing on cover crops and cash crops to incorporate livestock and enterprise stack. I've started to plan an agroforestry scheme with a view to improving public engagement on the farm. My Nuffield doesn't end here and I look forward to continuing to share knowledge and learn from other farmers as I continue to broaden my horizons. I would like to thank the Nuffield Farming Scholarships Trust and my sponsors McDonald's UK and Ireland for this amazing opportunity.